the union said exploitation of workers would continue as long as the mines are owned by foreign private companies. But Shingwaja says resources benefiting citizens have nothing to do with who owns the mine and that the government owning 50% of the business would not guarantee that the country will prosper. That's because apart from sharing profit, the government will also share the risks. The nationalization is not an easy process. First of all, we have to have uh, your facts correct. Then you look at the implications. Shingwaja says no fact have been brought forward by the union to prove that nationalizing of mines is viable. Research and evaluation needs to be done before such an idea can be passed to cabinet and parliament for discussion. First of all, do you have the capital to buy what you want to nationalize? And look at the issues, how much that will cost you to do that in, in terms of monetary terms. Uh, then you come to the capacity of the human resources to run such an operation. Shingwaja also dismisses claims by the union that the ministry was quiet on Namibian workers being exploited and retrenched by foreign bosses. He says it was the responsibility of the unions themselves to defend the workers they represented. Only if they are unable to solve the issues, he says, are such problems referred to the Labour Commissioner for conciliation and arbitration. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Venduk.